This is the new Mocky Dolphin 64 Cruiser. The main difference between this and the old 64 Cruiser are the extended flybridge, which means that owners have more space to enjoy the sun. The saloon is much the same apart from the fact that the galley is now enclosed and on the starboard side. It has links out onto the side decks and also down to the crew quarters. The comfortable seating aft has lovely views out of the huge windows on either side. The freestanding table forward means that it's in a good spot for the crew to serve guests while they're dining. The galley is very much an area for crew now. With side deck access and access to their quarters, it means that they can go about their work without having to interact with guests inside the saloon. Down in their quarters, there are two bunks and a decent bathroom with a pull-out shower head. The helm station is one set up far more for cruising than grabbing the wheel and steering through the waves. But that being said, it's nicely laid out and it's really good to see dedicated pull-out chart storage on the port side so you can do paper chart work if you wish. Moving down to the master cabin, this is one of our favourite parts of the boat. The angle berth really increases the feeling of space and the heads, which is on the port side, runs the length of the cabin and feels really, really luxurious. You have a shower room on the right hand side, toilet on the left, sink in the middle with lovely views out of the oversized hull window. The forward cabin also has plenty of light thanks to its own oversized windows either side and hatches in the roof. Of course guests are also treated to a very luxurious ensuite, which is very spacious and has a good sized separate shower stall. The guest cabin feels adequately luxurious with two generous berths and plenty of storage both beneath the berths and in the form of hanging storage. Guests in this cabin also get their own bathroom with a separate shower stall and finish the same high standards as the other two heads units.